My name is Nick Kepler. We grow mostly alfalfa. We have about 1,500 acres and that keeps us fairly busy. Uh, I, I could sit in these all day. Yeah, all day and all night if I had to. And I grew up on the farm. In fact, my dad put me in a swather when I was their age and I wasn't heavy enough to even hold the seat down. And so he had to go get some straps and bungee the seat down so that I could help him. When I was in high school, I actually started renting a couple pivots of alfalfa and then went to college and when I got out, we, me and the wife moved to Omaha. We lived there for five years, I think it was, and when we started having kids, we decided to come back here. Had an opportunity to come here and farm close to home, and so we just took it. And here we are. <laughs> city versus more rural living. We didn't want our kids going to a big, big city school. Being able to have the kids grow up doing this kind of thing, it's I think it's teaching them more than they, they actually think it is. She mostly hangs out with mom and me and Trey hang out with dad. I would much rather raise them out on a farm like this than in the big city. I mean, it's peaceful, it's quiet. You know, they're outdoors and they, you know, they get to do this kind of stuff and I think it's just preparing them for the future. I like growing up on the farm. Yeah. I don't want to live in the city. Because growing up in the city would be so noisy. Out here you wake up and all you hear is birds. It's always fun to see kids get out in, in ag and they like being with the animals and, and they like being around the equipment and, and their mom and dad. And, and they love coming into John Deere. They, they love 21st century equipment and I still owe them some toys if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> They're very supportive of our whole entire family. Aaron and Nick are like best friends, you know, and they always are there for each other. Aaron Ogden's probably the reason why I, I go through them with most everything. Without him, it would be a lot lot harder. He's, he's really helped me out. I'm out here trying to help and just keep them going and keep them productive and keep them happy and keep a good relationship. Everybody's willing to help and, and work and get things going whenever you need it. We're running RTK on the swathers, uh, the sub-inch accuracy. And with RTK, we're, we're sub-inch, so we can almost cut whole pivot lines out and it, it not even vary at all. From wheel track to wheel track, it lines up almost perfect every time. It's uh, more productive. We can, we can set our track spacing wider and, and cut more hay and be more efficient with, with RTK. They can get across acres faster, and in turn, you know, we can, we can be able to put up better hay. The demo is key to get his operators in it, to get him in it, and, and showcase what it, what it can do. Like these swathers, Aaron, he was bringing them out, letting me demo. He's going to bring out a baler this, this next week to let me demo. His willingness to let me, let me try things before I actually have to buy it. We're grateful that we get the opportunity to demo equipment. And we use the operation center so I can see the codes that are popping up or whatever I need to see, I can see from my phone. It's, yeah, it's been a, been a game changer. The service. The machines themselves have been great. They work wonderful. And it's nice where there's a store in our local town. Parts, I can, I can call in. They can bring them out, set them out here. It's the service, the customer service is what, what helps. Having people like Aaron on our side, you know that you can call and they'll send someone out if you're needing it. It's, it's nice. Having twins, it's, it's been fun. <laughs> I was, they're boys, that's for sure. Peyton was our first. She liked the animals too, so she has a big heart. And when it comes to taking care of them, she's right there with me. I definitely see them wanting to do this in the future. We were gonna have, so I run trucks. I would do the cows. I would do like the harvest. They would live in these things if they could. They love driving tractors and the little gators. They, they could drive that thing all over. I think it's preparing them for when they get older and just responsibility of like the animals having to get up, feed, wash. It's preparing them for a life that, that I, I think they'll, they'll really strive in. Someday I can see them taking over for us.